Capitol TV. This is the Eyewitness News at Noon. In the latest on the saltwater intrusion emergency, the first water barges are making their way down the Mississippi River. The Army Corps of Engineers released this video this morning. This barge is delivering fresh water to the water treatment facilities in Plaquemines Parish. Good afternoon and thanks for watching. I'm Melissa Curtis. Folks in Plaquemines Parish will soon have some relief after dealing with the impacts of the saltwater intrusion for months now. Two reverse osmosis machines designed to take the salt out of the water have been delivered to two water treatment plants. Other leaders are getting plans in place. Leah McNeil joins us now with the latest on the saltwater intrusion emergency. As salt water from the Gulf of Mexico continues to move up the Mississippi River, leaders in Orleans and Jefferson parishes have come up with similar plans to minimize the impact to the area's water supply. But those plans are different. I'm going to break it down, but first let's get into where the salt water is now. The salt water recently hit the Jesuit Bend. That's about 20 miles south of New Orleans. The latest projection shows salt water will reach the Orleans Parish water intake in the Carrollton area on October 28th with the salt water wedge expected to hit the East Jefferson water treatment plant one day later on October 29th. Now, both parishes have proposed pipelines that will pull fresh water from upriver near Kenner. That water would then be mixed with the current water supply, with the hope the fresh water from the pipeline would dilute the salt water enough to make it safe to drink. Governor John Bell Edwards did approve the plans for Jefferson Parish's pipelines, one on the East Bank and one on the West Bank. Edwards also approved the New Orleans pipeline. Both the Army Corps of Engineers and the Levy Authority need to sign off on these plans, though. A spokesperson with the Sewage and Water Board did tell WWL they are already out looking for contractors to build the pipeline. To be clear, right now there are separate pipelines for Orleans and Jefferson parishes. Leaders, though, continue to stress that there is no need to panic. Be sure to stay connected with us as we continue to work to bring you the latest. Back to you. We've done multiple stories on the impact of the saltwater intrusion emergency. You can get the latest by texting the word water to 504-529-4444. We will then respond with a link to our coverage. We'll also post updates on our website, our free smartphone app, as well as our social media pages.